Good afternoon YouTube, iSpive87 here bringing you a small video on solar power. Uh, this is my 12 volt uh, portable solar setup that I've built myself uh, just to show you that it's pretty easy to do. Um, this is my 12 volt uh, 20 watt solar panel connected to two 12 volt batteries which are connected positive to positive, negative to negative so you can see here, so which keeps both batteries at 12 volts it just doubles the amp hours so they're 12 amp hours each so it makes it 24 amp hours which is good um, we've got the charge controller here let's bring around this side so we can have a look at that okay so you've got all your different sections uh, sections for your connections um, you've got your solar panel the battery and the load so uh, from the solar, solar panels We've got the wire coming out here just coming through a small hole that I've drilled in the top of the case for now I will be putting a serial light socket in here um, so that's disconnected for when you're transporting it uh, I do have a cigarette light socket here coming from the load section which is this end one here uh, that then you can run the power directly from the solar panel uh, good to have a little bung on here yeah, it says that it's waterproof obviously the case itself isn't entirely waterproof but you know this is just for make sure it's portable um, you know portable and easy to use and I've got batteries connected into the chop block here which then run through to the battery section to, of the charge controller uh, here as you can see there are four uh, chop blocks now you have the battery running through to the middle two and then I've got two extra cables there running out just so then I can tr um, plug in another 12 volt socket which I'll be adding next to this one here so I'll have a 12 volt outlet from the batteries a 12 volt outlet from the load section and I'll have a 12 volt socket up here which is not for power which will be connecting the solar panel uh, this is portable I will now quickly just show you a demonstration of how it becomes portable just need to pop my camera down a second if you could give me a moment make sure it doesn't fall off here Okay, there we go. Right. Uh, obviously, battery use, you need to keep your batteries kept upright. Um, these are sealed batteries, so it shouldn't matter too much about if they're laying down or whatever, but, you know, it's, it's this way up. I'll turn the batteries around, just to be on the safe side of things. Um, but for portability, the case will stand up. Therefore, I need to just roll my battery around this. Keep this cardboard in here. The cardboard is uh, in here for two reasons. One, and that stops the batteries moving around, but also it's insulation. Batteries do not like cold, uh, cold weather, etc., etc. So try and keep them, you know, warm. Obviously not too warm because if they overheat, that's also bad. But that's why I've got a little bit, not too much, a little bit. Uh, this closes down, as you can see, and then connect those up. That stands up, and the whole thing becomes portable. Okay. Uh, that's that, pretty simple, pretty effective piece of kit, obviously as I said before, um, you know there is just a small hole here, you can imagine if that was a cigarette light socket there, I could just disconnect that, happy days. Um, I will be adding another video soon to a few upgrades, obviously as I said the, the sockets for the solar panel and the 12 outlet on the side. Also, I'm debating whether to add a, a, a bracket along the bottom here, so I can attach this to here, um, not for use, just for the simple fact of when you're carrying it around, uh, everything's all in one place then, and uh, easy for you to find and use if you store it in a way over the winter when there's not a lot of sun, and you're not using it, it's all in one place. Uh, so that's the basic setup. Um, what I'll do now is I shall uh, take it outside and I'll uh, show you how it actually works and runs. Okay, here I am outside. Um, I do live in a flat, unfortunately, for solar is not exactly very good. But I usually just leave my setup out here during the day uh, to charge up. Um, so here we are outside. I do apologize about the noise. There's a bit of work going on behind me. Uh, as you can see, though, the sun is nice and bright. As you can see up here, a lovely day. Uh, so beautiful um, amount of sun going onto the solar panel, and I have the setup nice and open just to show you how it all works you know it does work the same closed up and standing up but you know it's a lot easier to show you um, let you see everything as we're filming 
for uh, you to understand it a bit better. Uh, a few extra bits we've got here. We've got a cigarette lighter socket um, with a double USB port on it, which is good. I've uh, got iPod charger cable, and this is a it's a BlackBerry charger cable. Good thing about it is it's nice and short, so it, you know fits in the box. Um, the good thing about the BlackBerry charger cable as well is it fits into um, my HTC, which I've got here, and it also fits into a Kindle, uh, Kindle Fire HD, which is good as well. And uh, a few other different devices all have the same sort of connection, so you can charge pretty much any device really with this uh, this connection here, which is pretty decent. I, mean, I find uh, you know it comes in handy. Um, okay, I'll just show you how it works. So we're going to plug in our USB into our 12 volt socket here and then I shall grab my HTC I'll pop it all down here because as I said it's a short lead ok let's plug that into the USB socket there nicely done and in and then the socket here on the side of the phone so that's a bit fiddly with one hand there we are now as you can see my phone has just lit up and if you can read that section there, it does say charging, which is uh, wonderful. Obviously proves that the solar panel is working up and running. Um, now because it's a nice sunny day, the sun is quite bright, we should be able to charge both devices at the same time. So let's give this a go, shall we? First I'll plug in that. Uh, I've got a bit more space here, I'll be able to put the camera down a bit here. Okay, let's plug this in. And as you can see, again that has just lit up, lit up, and uh, yeah. charging. Beautiful. Uh, so there you go. We're now powering, uh, sorry, charging both the iPod and the phone at the same time with nothing but using the sun through the charge controller, as you can see here, through the cigarette light socket out of the USBs etc you know as you as you know so uh, that's my setup uh, I hope you find it helpful for uh, any of your own setups or uh, if you're planning on making one yourself or even if you're just a little bit interested in solar power um, thank you very much for watching and uh, as I already said um, make sure you look out for my follow-up videos for my uh, improvements thank you very much as you can see look, I've closed up the box, uh, so this makes it a lot portable, uh, still sitting outside, still charging, um, everything's all there in the case, again as I said before, you can just pick it up, it is a little bit heavy having the two batteries in there, but if you think going down your side, it's going to be no heavier than carrying a rucksack, you know, with full up with gym stuff or whatever you've got, and uh, just the solar panel in the other hand for now while it's connected like this. Uh, I am thinking of connecting a small bracket to the side here with a hole in just for way if, if I do fancy carrying it and charging at the same time I can I can have the uh, the USB socket where is it it's just in here I can have this plugged in like this so I can have that plugged in instead of having to run the cables through the case like this uh, I can run them through a hole in the side here and carry it at the same time um, which will make it a bit more practical for everyday use uh, but until I do that we'll just stick with this uh, yeah there we go thank you very much for watching um, I'm gonna now add a small slideshow uh, after this of all the bits and pieces that I used and the majority of it came off of eBay so anyone can do this you can get the parts anywhere uh, yeah, just a small slideshow now of uh, parts that I used. Thank you.